All right. Uh, we made it to the Freedom Factory to get the 240 after she's had some, uh, she had a little wall run in. Let's give a look at this thing. So, all around, bumper looks like it needs to be fixed. I don't know what that is. She got pushed in a little bit here, a little bit pushed in here, but that ain't so bad. I don't even use the fuel filler. Um, the front end could use a new bumper and probably needs a new fender. Um, otherwise everything else is fine. I think these bolts are bent and then the two down there. So unbolt the front end and just shift it over. I don't even think the radiator's cracked. Man, this thing is ruined. You guys were right. I freaking ruined a perfect car. Perfect. Ruined. Can you believe it? Me. Ruined a car. Ugh. I'm sick to my stomach. Can't believe it. Just can't. Just can't believe it. There's a the fender back there with some wheels. Things that I didn't expect to be doing. So, full explanation. Um, the battery died. It was was left on, which normally shouldn't be a problem, but I guess it is. So, kill switch was left on right here. Try to start it without the battery because uh, the battery has a bad cell so it's shorting so you can't put the jump box on there and expect it to work because the battery has catastrophically failed internally because it's clearly shorting between the two when you put the jump box on there so I to go right to there with this off so there's no battery and it's cranking fine trying to start but um it will not start because the tune has lost is lost somewhere so i have the base tune on my laptop at home but without a tune on the computer without a tune on the ecu it will not start and run so that's unfortunate so um if you're one of those guys that everything kind of just usually goes well for you you looking for a job because i need somebody like that on my team but i have a winch we'll see if we can uh see if we can get it up there not gonna be easy. It's not really a good angle either, but. Doing pretty good. Things are happening, we're getting there. Perfect, she's on. All right, my totaled 240 is back in the shop now. Time to uh, get the front end taken apart and see what we're working with here. So um, pull that fender off, bumper off, and this headlight off and see what this corner looks like. I'm suspecting not a whole lot of damage. Um, popular assumption is that there's a immense amount of damage and it's ruined, but we'll see. We'll see what it looks like here. Um, as far as I could tell, it doesn't look bent over here. I think that's part of the body line. Yep, uh, it doesn't look bent. Um, maybe this is bent a little? I don't know, I'll take these bolts out. Take this bolt out, see what, see what happens. Oh, first the bumper off. Let's go. Just um, unbolted everything, loosened it up and kind of moved it over. These are crooked because the whole thing is bent this way, so it's probably the reason, um, I would guess. I don't know, they're really not even that crooked too, so not too bad. This may be a little bent right here, um, but unbolted these, and this is where it broke and pushed in. So this is the um, tube front end from Chair Slayer. 
and the bolts are the shear point, it broke, pushed in the radiator, and that's what got it. So, really not so bad. Pretty, uh, pretty solid all around. The only broken parts that I had to pull off were this headlight bucket right here and the fender, which isn't broken, but it is damaged. The headlight bucket, I don't think I'm straightening that thing out. She's pretty toast, but the cover isn't bad. It's chicken right there. Cover's not so bad, so pretty happy with that. The other one's um, already bent. I bent it another time and yeah, that was an accident. So pretty solid all around car is still straight as far as I can tell probably as straight as it was when I got it I don't think it was super straight when I got it but it is a 240 they're never perfect well I don't think I ever had this car up on the lift maybe I'm wrong somebody will probably correct me but it's pretty nice under here after like looking at everything it's really not that bad could use some tires these are pushed in, but that's fairly normal. But like, the exhaust is pretty nice. Everything under here is pretty decent. All the bolts look tight on the bell housing. That's a, that's a plus. It's always nice. Rare. Pretty solid, honestly. An oil temperature or pressure? Probably pressure. I mean... That leaks, but that's fairly normal. Big hole cut there. Fairly normal for a 240. Pretty freaking decent. I don't want to lose that bolt. That nut there, you know, just in case you need it later. Sure, that's not going to cut any of those wires at any point. That's pretty good. Yeah. Honestly, solid. I got somebody coming to look at it to potentially buy it, so I told them I'd put it up on the lift, and um, not bad. The 240, this one is the best, um, like, complimentary car to the Camaro, because you can still go on the lift with it there. You could just tuck it all the way back in the corner, and it can, and you could still use the lift. So, perfect complimentary car can't beat it good unit so both 240s are in here for probably one of the first times everything fits in here so well the black 240 I had up on the lift showing somebody because uh, they were thinking about buying it and I kind of talked him out of it after finding out what his plans are I'm a really bad used car salesman I would make a very bad used car salesman Unless maybe I worked at like a dealership or something, but whenever they're my cars, I always kind of tell people all the flaws and why they don't want it and all this kind of stuff. And I'm really bad at kind of pushing people to buy it. Bad salesman with this stuff. Just a bad salesman in general. Need to be a little more sleazy. But I also started working on this thing. The front end is pretty much done. I just need to uh, put one bolt in there and tighten everything up and the front end is good to go um doesn't have the tune on it yet i need to either get a new get it retuned or find the old tune somewhere i don't know if i still have it i hope so because that's gonna be a real pain in the butt i don't know if anybody has the original tune unfortunately it's a common thing when you crank a um it, it can happen when you crank a holly ecu with low voltage you can lose the whole tune and that seems to have happened to me so that's unfortunate it needs a new map sensor also and then maybe bolt back on the front end but go through it make sure it's all good it definitely needs an oil change because the oil pressure was a smidge low did not like it being that low but uh yeah it doesn't really have anything to do for a while not until like maybe bristol it'll come out Maybe it'll make it back for Bristol. Maybe we can get some different tires on the back and actually pop them. These are super gripped up. This is a freaking 255, 50, 17. The same ones that are on the Crown Vicks. As you can tell, Crown Vic wheel. Crown Vic tire that run on the Freedom 500s and stuff like that. Indy 800, all that deal. But I just knew that it was going to struggle to pop this tire because of how much grip it had. 
I really should have grabbed fourth gear. I was only in third gear. And I was only in second gear. I really should have grabbed third. It was super gripped up out there. And then I kind of hit like a little slick packet patch, I think. And then it just kind of drove into the wall. I drove it into the wall. I was driving, I was behind the wheel. <laughs> but otherwise it's not too bad. This car, still for sale, um, eight grand. Come get it. I don't really care to keep it or hold on to it as cool as it is, as much as I like it. As much as I like a black 240 S15, S14, it is, um, it's not necessary. I don't need it. So, VQ swapped, CD09 swapped. I don't really know anything else about it. Please don't email me and ask me a million questions. I don't know anything about it. If you're interested, you can buy it, but I, I don't really care to answer 900 people. I will close off. I will, I will close. I will close down, I've noticed about myself when people start harassing me about questions about the car that I don't know, I didn't work on, I didn't build. I just know what it is here and bad salesman, like I said. But that's about it. Um, this car, maybe we'll get some test burnouts in. I have some, um, there are some people that are talking about doing like a kind of test day session. I don't know why the battery dies when you leave it on if you leave it in the on position back here like the switch i don't know why that is that shouldn't happen but it does happen and um blame the wiring guy whoever wired this thing he's at fault another thing i've been working on is all the podcast stuff is out here so <clears throat> there'll be some big stuff happening with that fun stuff a lot of fun stuff we're coming up on florida rainy season and like hurricane season and summer where it's hot, humid, rains every day, and racing is basically at a low. But I do have some new parts coming for the Camaro. Some some uh, shocking parts that should help us get that thing uh, dialed in nicely. So a lot of cool stuff coming, a lot of things happening, and that's about it. So that's going. So that's going to end it off there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it saucy. I'll see you next time.